Hallelujah. The first spiritual principle that I want to share this morning is called the law of the mind. Mighty God. The law of the mind. Psalm 78 and verse 41. I'll be as fast as I can so that we are done in good time. Psalm 78 and verse 41. Please read for me if you, are, if you can see it. One to read. Yea, they turned back and tempted God. Uh huh. And limited the Holy One of Israel. For many years I read this scripture and it disturbed me. That a man can limit God. That is a statement that doesn't sound correct until I found out this principle and this spiritual law that I teach you that a possibility exists in this kingdom where men can limit God are we together although heaven is his throne the earth his footstool where can a man hide from his presence the psalmist said but that there is something a man can do in the earth that can limit the God of the universe and make him look as though powerless I found the cure for my limitations in this revelation. I found out that my experience is not a reflection of God's power. The lack of results that come in my life and remain in my life are not proof of God's incompetence. That there is something about my in understanding and, on, and lack of knowledge that can cause the most high to be limited. They limited the Holy One of Israel. The law of the mind. Please write it down. Everything in life is built twice. To last. It must first be built in the realm of the spirit. And then built physically. That anything that does not have a foundation in the realm of the spirit and ever appears physical will have to disappear it's a spiritual law and so god designed man now i've heard all kinds of teachings that man is a spirit he's a soul and he's a body well i agree but i disagree i thoroughly disagree no man is tripartite in operation but man is not tripartite man is a spirit that spirit lives in a body but that spirit cannot operate with the body because they are in two different dimensions and so there has to be a system of connecting both dimensions and god created an agency called a mind are we together to interface the realm of the spirit and the physical realm that becomes the system of connection between the spirit and the body so it gives that man duality of realms. That means he can relate in the realm of the spirit and the physical realm. So man is a spirit. That spirit is hosted in a container called the body. And given the mind containing the will, emotions and intellect to be able. These are faculties of expression. Are we together? So the spirit can only relate with the body through the mind. The only gateway to the body to this realm is the mind the soul is simply a spirit that is conscious because of the mind so you don't separate man into spirit standing one side soul stand one side body stand one side no it's already confusing where what realm does that soul belong to because there are only two realms the spiritual and the physical now you are creating three entities that's where the confusion comes from the soul is still spirit only with an advantage of a faculty of expression to help it relate with the earth realm are we together on that now it is very important because most christians have not learned how to convert and transport spiritual realities from the realm of the spirit to this realm. Hebrews chapter 11 tells us now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It says it is the tangibility, the evidence of things not seen. It says for by it the elders obtained a good report. Verse 3 says through faith we understand. 
Look at this scripture. That the walls, the systems were framed. They had their tangibility by the word of God. But the technology is that the things that were seen came from the things which do not appear. That, that's where I'm driving at. Are we together now? So that things that are seen are derived from things that are unseen, 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 not unreal, unseen unseen by the optical eyes unseen by a dimension not unreal are we together now that means everything that we require is already a reality the fact that you can desire it means it exists please listen you do not have the ability to desire anything that does not exist so the concept of creation is only creation from this realm from the realm of the spirit is only a technology of transportation transporting spiritual realities from a dimension that is not earthly to give it frame in the earth realm are we together you have to understand what i'm teaching because this is how your wealth will come this is how your increase will come this is how the visions that you are seeing will find expression the law of the mind that realities are first formed in that realm of the mind before they find expression in the physical are we together that your life is akin to a mirror and everything you see in the physical is like a mirror you don't remove something from your head by putting your hand in the mirror you correct it here and the mirror corrects itself that means our approach to growth has largely been wrong we attempt to change things physically and like i told you that there is a law that everything that comes to your life is a reflection of what is already in your mind this is powerful and this is true i used two people yesterday can i use them again any two gentlemen please not not our, our ministers <laughs> thank you thank you so much Please stand here. Please stand here. I, I like to use this example because I want you to understand. Please look up. Let's call this guy a preacher. Everybody say pastor. God forbid in Jesus name. Huh? Let's call this guy an arm robber. Now I'm, I'm just call it in your mind. Don't, don't speak it. Are we together? Now watch this. This guy is busy robbing people. Destroying people's destinies. Jumping the fence. Doing all kinds of things. And we call him a robber and then this guy is liberating people causing people to know the things of god and you call him a pastor remember you hate this guy and then you love this guy correct now walk with me let both of them suddenly be dead bodies suddenly the preacher dies this man dies who is on the ground a dead body no who is on the ground a dead body you don't call it a preacher dead body you call it a dead body you don't call it an arm robber dead body you call it a dead body now they have become equal dead bodies so who was really the preacher was it the body the mind a madman still has a spirit but why is he not useful to you because the madness hijacked the interface that makes for sanity between the realm of the spirit is why when jesus saw madness it, it he knew that that madness was a serious he was not just a miracle worker he was a statement that satan would come and interface the bridge between the realm of the spirit and this realm that means i do not have to do anything to your physical body whatever can cause me to stand and hijack the delivery system from the realm of the spirit to this realm i have destroyed you eventually it will be the same thing as cutting the supply of water from a plant it will root out your body will show that your mind died since are we together now the mind the body does not have a will on its own it's a vehicle of execution please understand this that means if this guy robs this guy the body only obeyed an instruction coming from the mind are we together that means the foolish decisions that many of us take the body is innocent the body is obedient so we have to correct the giver of that instruction 
so that your physical reality now begins to subscribe to a new intelligence are we together now when this guy stands to preach when this guy stands to minister the body is only an executor the preacher is in the mind so who is really poor don't talk and who is really rich who is really educated and who is really dull who is really broken and who is really healed is deception to focus on this physical realm again let me give another example respectfully so have you seen someone who you gave a nice shirt wonderful shirt white just like what a dear pastor is putting on and you gave that person that shirt and in in, in two months i mean that whole thing has been, you are, it's not brown it's not white have you seen those kind of things now let me tell you what happened the the shirt is reflecting the health of the mind are we together and when you gave it to another person the shirt started looking like what is in there please listen to me very truthfully that your mind is very powerful the bible calls it the salvation of your soul that the end of your faith transformation through the renewal of the mind is the culmination of your faith experience that means your being born again is not complete until there is a system of transformation that permits this mind to be in you which was also in christ jesus he was speaking to a people who were already saved the impact of your spirit is wonderful but you will still live a useless life until the reality of that transformation finds expression the bible doesn't talk so much about the body because the body is an executor are we together now the real miracle is the mind is god speaking to us genesis chapter 11 please genesis chapter 11 the bible talks about a man called nimrod the son of cush and then the bible says that he led a group of people to build a city and a tower whose top will reach the heavens correct now this morning i'm not arguing about the theological the whole debate whether it was a spiritual building or physical we know there was a building and there is a morale there let's go to verse 4 please or verse 3 let's start from verse 3 genesis 11 please and verse 3 someone is changing and they said to one another goto let us make brick and burn them thoroughly and they had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar verse 4 and they said now listen they've not started the building nimrod kush is proposing like a manifesto gentlemen let's come together and build something that will reach the heavens and he says whose top may reach unto the heavens let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth if you're a christian look at verse five one to read with me please keep it at verse five while they were discussing god was seeing a building rising and god said who is building god saw that the construction had finished it's in your bible they had not laid one physical block but in the realm of the spirit as their minds were receiving it what god was seeing is a structure finished the bible says god came down remember satan is not in this scripture the holy ghost is not in this scripture only men and the power of the minds he gave them i show you how you can build that business because when god talks to you he talks like he's talking to himself he will tell you take over lagos and as he's talking to you you don't know that he's giving you lagos already but the technology to make it real is what i show you please keep that scripture there the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men build dead finished done you argue with that let's go to the next verse verse six here is god testifying ready please read and the lord said behold the people is one 
and all have one language now listen and this they begin to do stop now he's talking to their realm i saw that the people is one and they are about to do what was finished and now nothing nothing will be restrained from them which they have talk to me So the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, please give it to us. It says, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all we or think. Now listen, ask or think, ask or think. If I say sit here or here, it means either way carries equal value. That means there are two prayer warriors in your life. Your mind and your mouth are both praying. That God is a listener to two dimensions of prayer request. The one that comes from your lips changed my life. And the one your mind says, don't bother again, Lord, I'm comfortable. Is saying that God is able to do whatever they are saying. Were you ever taught that your mind is a prayer warrior? That it consistently sends requests about your destiny to the throne can do above all we ask not and think or think so could your situation be an answered prayer is it possible that the lack of growth is god honoring you for the several requests that continue to go from your mind to heaven keep us this way oh god and he says, I gave you a will and I must honor it. Your mouth says, I'm rising. But your mind says, it's all right. Just, I changed my mind. Huh. Are we together? They limited the Holy One. They limited the Holy One. The Holy One wanting to reveal his multifaceted possibilities. But the channel that gives him expression to the earth realm was limited by a man's understanding. This is very powerful. Believers, hear me. Many spiritual people will never succeed because of this simple reason. Success is not really in doing. Success is attracted by the transition that happens in your mind, which is a reflection of what you are becoming. Every realm of spiritual understanding and mental development has possibilities that accrue to that realm. An attempt to attract a reality that is higher than your mental level is only like pulling a rubber ring. It will go back. That's why many of our results are short-lived. They did not come with growth. They only came with desire and sometimes ego. If you have 200 members and there are 1,000 members here, it's impossible for them to remain 200. They must match. It's a law. Not invented by science invented and maintained by God's own integrity show me a man who stays in one tiny room with no privilege let your mind you see the beautiful thing is that you don't need a visa to travel here you don't need to go to any consular office you can dream with God and he takes you to that realm this is the technology of growth the Holy Ghost takes your mind to your future. The moment your mind gets there, it comes and takes your body to go and join it. So anywhere, listen, when you stop moving, it's because your mind stopped traveling. Please believe what I'm telling you. Realities are first fear a man who has arrived in his mind because god testifying said no power in existence sustains the ability to stop such a man could that man be you this morning